This is the Stiletto STS Q4 measuring multi-angle guide. It's made of some type of aluminum. It's not magnetic. It's got a really solid core bottom. You can make a mark here, come across, and you'll see that I want to angle at 67.5 degrees from that mark. Just line it up, draw it like that. Go back here to the starting spot. You can see I can get 145 degrees, 30 degrees, 22 and a half. All of those, they start from that point that on the left corner, connect to the line. draw straight through. Of course you can elongate those lines with a longer square. This is really nice. You have little circles here on each, each eighth of an inch. You want to just draw a horizontal line down your board right there or right here. Just guide it on down all the way out to three and three-fourths. This board's not wide enough so there's three inch mark all the way down, whoops, it came off. Yeah, so let's do a smaller one. There you go. And you can do a lot of angles when you line this up. If you want a 40 degree angle, put a mark here. And where you're starting from, and then just draw a line. There's a 40 degree angle. So you can get from just five degrees all the way up to at least 75. Of course, 90 degrees is right here. Yeah, here's 85. 75. So you can get from zero to 90 degrees by marking off. There's 10, there's 20. There's 70, for instance, if I was drawn from here, and just connect the dots. So that would be 70 degrees. There's some common degrees you're going to use in different types of construction. 5, 10, 20, 22 and a half, 25, up by 5 and 15, 65, 67 and a half, 70, 85, 90. You can see in these horizontal lines, you hold this in the bottom, you can get a one fourth inch line here, one fourth one half inch line here, three fourths inch line here, one and a half, one and three fourths. You can extend those out however you want to, with whatever extenders you have. Now we have some marks. We did the horizontals. Now we have some vertical marks. So if you're measuring from this end, from here to here, is one inch. See the one? And it's three fourths of an inch right there. So you put this up here on the edge. That's three fourths off the edge. One inch off the edge. One and three fourths off the edge. Notice how the little marker line is going vertical, but not to be confused with the horizontal marker line on this one. Here's one and a half up here, and you can use these that one and three fourths lines up here, that one and a half lines up here. So you can put some dots in here. There's three and three and a half. Of course, you can extend anything down however you want. Whatever you're trying to build or construct.
you can put this down on its edge and you can see some markings one fourth one third one three eighths one half on up so you can set your saw blade if you have a table saw for instance you can set the height with this using the side markings you have a reveal edge a one-fourth little lip here and a three-sixteenth here so if you were doing some work and you needed a little quick three-sixteenth measurement like you're doing some door trim just line that up mark it off that would be a three-sixteenths inch gap turn it to the other way one and a quarter inch put it in there and you'd mark the top quarter inch so we have different widths on the side from the base we line that up draw a line here on this one up draw a line smaller 